how to upgrade to ESXi 7.0 using vSphere Lifecycle Manager. So renamed. Why do I have Melissa's article up on the right? Because it's excellent. I just want to hats off to someone in the community doing a fantastic job. Okay, now this article, she gets into, you know, how to get started and even circles as you go. So let's have a look here. Now, Lifecycle Manager looks a little different. And I suspect she's probably updating that article already. And you'll see here's the ESXi version. Okay, this is different, right? We've got Dell and EHP showing there, but let's have a look under actions. And let's just see what happens if I click on this. Is the backend server ready? Do I get to see anything happening? Um, I had some issues when I tried using VAMI to check for a vCenter server appliance, uh, VCSA updates yesterday, back in release day, April 2nd. This seemed to have succeeded. So import has been moved. So if we click, uh, well, actually, we might be able to see it here too. Yeah, we can do it there. But I really want to check on imported ISO. It's probably blank, right? Yep, haven't done that yet. Okay. I'm going to check out the other tabs. I want to learn. Okay, it's synchronizing every two, two hours is the last time. Baselines, interesting. Automatic downloads, cool. But that's patches and so forth. Okay, so I'm just giving you a tour before we get changing anything. So this is a fresh uh, upgrade. So I went from 6.7 update 3 to 7.0 yesterday. But we're looking at VCSA here together for the very first time. And this talks about what to do to apply these. Take snapshots VMs. Okay, interesting, including rollback stuff. Okay. So under imported ISOs, we got the import ISO button. And there it is. Right here is the installer. And by the way, uh, I've you know, documented the exact files. You want to make sure you're getting the right thing. Don't be so hasty. You can't just take a moment to make sure you're getting the right file. Okay, so it's working on uploading that. And we can actually have a look at our handy dandy uh, network traffic monitor through the Ethernet tab of Task Manager on Windows anyway. Get rid of that. Step two, adding to the repo. Bottom says 100%, that was fast. Very nice. Okay, so now that we have that, create a new Update Manager baseline. So if we highlight this, say new baseline. So I'd say this is still just a little awkward here, but Okay, there's my baseline. There's my image. And we're finished. Okay, now attaching a baseline to ESXi hosts. All right, so let's take a look at hosts and clusters view. Okay, looks like uh, I've got a busy CPU in there because I'm doing some folding at home. That's relevant here because we've got maintenance mode and other concerns. Now, if you have HA or DRS on in your home lab or your lab, well, there's some considerations there. But let's just see what happens if we go to the cluster level. So all four hosts are in there. Let's look at updates. It says loading lifecycle manager. Okay, it found one host is at 7, and the other three are still at 6.7. Very nice. Checked one day ago. Let's just do that again. Okay, at the bottom you see progress. And it's checking the cluster now. Wait a little bit. Okay, and then we got remediation. Now, I did spot this button, manage with a single image. But that's not useful right now because we need to be at 7.0 on all hosts first. So I'm going to back here and get back to where we were. Nice double click resizing works. Okay. 
So that finished. Okay, so once we get to 7.0, I'll be able to keep all four in lockstep more easily with that manage with a single uh, uh, image option. But we're just not there yet. Before we proceed uh, to poke around here, I'm also going to right click on this and just see what we've got here. See if there's any new settings, because that's what I do. Mm, nothing new that I see there. Let's see VMware tools, what's in here? Oh, awesome. Yeah, that's a whole nother uh, kind of video to check out. I have a lot of VMware tools 17 to update too. All right, that's fine. If we click on updates on an individual host, okay, rather familiar UI. It was already checked two minutes ago. And if we click attached, attached, there we go. Okay. Uh, it actually tells me a little bit about what's going to happen there. That's cool. Now, when you actually go to execute this, So we want to do remediate and it looks like we're not going to see remediate light up here for, for some reason. Okay. All we got to do is turn on that checkbox and then remediate lights up. Are we missing anything here? No is the answer. So here we go. Okay. Did a pre pre update check. And it's going to go ahead and update that system now. Okay, given how long that took, I am not surprised it aired out. Probably ran out of space or something. I've actually had issues with even ESX CLI. Unknown <laughs> error. Ouch. All right, check the events and logs for details. Um, I will say it's a little, uh, unfortunately you can't just like click there and jump over, but all right. So let's go to the host view. This is the guy we we're working on. All right, unhappy entering, entering maintenance mode for whatever reason. Well, got a VM running. So let's see if we get an interactive message here. So that took a long time to time out. Got to say a single command by ESX CLI that takes all of two minutes to upgrade. <laughs> a little quicker than what you just witnessed. Oh boy, this thing's going to take a, a while to enter or to pop up an error message. I'm guessing uh, yes. So I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to go ahead and just turn this sucker off. Okay. That VM should be gone in a hurry. Not there quite yet. There it goes. All right. Well, it's not going to have any trouble entering maintenance mode now. So, Let's see how it goes this time. Hmm, didn't make me scroll down through the list. I am going to point out if you're in a home lab and you have USB 32 gig or bigger, I gotta say, there's a bunch of stuff you wanna wanna read about hardware compatibility. Sorry, my downloads, how to download vSphere. I've got ESXi hardware requirements, and it really gets into a pretty deep dive on 32 gig. Okay, notice all the mentions about 32 gig drive. So I happen to have 32 gig. I also, in my articles, feature a way to image to clone drive. So when you have an external drive like that, a drive you can turn off the machine and pop out and image or clone, 
it's pretty handy in a home lab because you can always revert no matter what, even a VCSA or any kind of remediation or backup plan fails for whatever reason, because you maybe do bad stuff in your home lab. It's not really um, supported. <laughs> maybe you've hacked, uh, tweaked things or gone into the shell and done stuff. Who knows? Either way, being able to image where ESXi itself is, I found it handy. I would love for that to be obsolete. Maybe under the covers, there's some more stuff going on here with 7.0 that I don't know. I didn't have access to beta code or anything, so I'm learning it for the first time here. And haven't had a whole lot of time to read and been um, a whole lot of documentation that the technical marketing team, the amazing folks over at VMware have been cranking out lately. Okay. Look at that. I missed the reboot, but it finished. Okay, sorry I didn't leave that screen up. I was actually <laughs> kind of expecting it to fail. I still have uh, a couple of other hosts to go, so hopefully I'll capture one of those. But anyhow, it worked. Didn't take that long, actually, from beginning to end, if you uh, think about that, I had to reboot as well. So, cool. So we got that host. If we go to the cluster level now, we should be able to see in the summer. Nope, not there. Excuse me. Two hosts at 7.0 and two at 6.7. So that's it. Success on the update process. And I want to thank you for watching. And I really appreciate you visiting Tinker Try IT at home. Stay safe now.